Hello Beekman Elementary School. So nice to be talking with you today in another summer weekly video. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <coughs> While I was away in Maine last week, um, as you know, there was a really bad storm here in our area. Uh, the towns of Beekman, Polkweg, and Hopewell Junction, um, it was just unbelievable, right? The rain, the lightning, and the wind, and uh, the trees that got knocked down. So as you know, because um, many of you lost power, um, so I just wanted to say I was really sorry um, when I had learned about that. When I came to work this week, I could see a lot of trees were down. I could see a lot of the work that had been done. Um, you know, it must have been really frustrating um, for those families in the community who didn't have power because some of you um, didn't get it back until Sunday. That's a long time. That's almost a week. Um, so that's very difficult. It's very frustrating. And I just wanted you to know that I was thinking of you. And I'm so sorry that that storm had happened. And I just... I hope everybody's doing better and doing okay. Um, so, again, I'm really sorry, but I hope you're okay. On a uh, more positive note, I'm not sure if you remember, but uh, previously in a summer weekly video, I announced that we were going to have bingo night during the month of August. So I'm pleased to announce that bingo night will be this month, and it's coming up in a couple weeks on Monday, August 24th at 6 p.m. Um, so uh, details will be sent out soon to families via email and in that email you'll get the Google Meet link, you'll get information about how to sign up if you want a bingo card, um, how to sign up if you want multiple bingo cards. Um, so be on the lookout for that email and I hope to see many Beekman Bears and their families at Bingo Night on Monday, August 24th at 6 p.m. So we had two students submit their answers for last week's Where in the World uh, segment. Remember, it was a two-part question. Um, so thank you to Franco Leone and Pierre Fuentes. Thank you so much for sending in your guesses. Um, you did a great job. And um, for those of you who saw last week's video, um, you know I was on vacation in Maine. And the first question was to name the town in Maine that I was uh, vacationing at. And the answer was... York Beach. That's right, York Beach, Maine. That's where I've gone almost every summer since I was a, a baby, um, and we love it there. So I hope you enjoyed checking out the video from York Beach, Maine. And the second question was to name the lighthouse that I showed in the video. So there's this really cool lighthouse. It was on an island, and I asked you for the name. And there were two names. You could have said the Nubble Lighthouse, or you could have said the Cape Nettick Lighthouse. So either answer is correct. The Nubble Light or Cape Netic Lighthouse. Um, and so thanks again to Franco and Piera for sending me their answers and guessing correctly on last week's Where in the World segment. Now, let's check out our newest Where in the World segment coming at you right now. Um, and it's from one of your favorite teachers here at Beekman. Let's see if you can figure out where she is. <music> I am on an island. To get here, you need a boat. On one side of the island is the Great South Bay. There are no streets on this island, just boardwalks, and you have to get around with your own two feet. On the other side of the island, you'll find the Atlantic Ocean. This island is in New York State. So where in the world is Mrs. Thyberg? Wasn't that a great video from Mrs. Thyberg? That was awesome. She really knows how to make a nice video. Um, and so you know, Mrs. Thyberg, she didn't tell me where she was in that video she made. And that was great because then I got to enjoy the challenge too. So I listened to her uh, clues and I went on Google Maps and I tried to, using the clues that she sent me and going on to Google Maps, I uh, tried to find where she was. I think I was pretty close. I don't know if I got it completely correct, but we're going to find out next week in next week's video when I release uh, the correct answer um, if I was right and if you were right. So make sure you listen to her clues, give it a shot, try it out, see if you can guess where Miss Thyberg went on vacation. Send me in your guesses, and if you send me in a guess, I will give you a shout out next week in our summer weekly video. All right, so I think you know what time it is. That's right, it's birthday time. However, before I uh, announce 
this week's Beekman Bearers birthdays, um, I want to uh, send a quick shout out to Ileana Kylie. So if you watched last week's video, you probably heard me uh, announce Ileana's birthday, um, but I mispronounced her name. I know. After I made the video and I watched it, I realized that I had made a mistake. Um, so I want to apologize to Ileana today, let her know that I promise to do my best in the future to get her name right. Um, you know, I must have had seaweed on my brain or something from Maine um, because I know Ileana's name and I know how to pronounce it, but I just messed up. So I'm sorry, Ileana, and I will do better next time. All right. So for this week, let's wish a happy birthday to the following. On the 13th, Dakota Boyle, happy birthday to you, Dakota. I hope you have a super day and you enjoy it with your family. And then on the 14th, we have three Beekman Bears have a birthday on the 14th. A happy birthday to Avery Chafee, and happy birthday to Haley Odar, and happy birthday to Jack Buckley. So happy birthday, everybody. Hope you have a super birthday on August 14th. And then on the 15th, happy birthday to Ariel Aranda. Hope you have a great birthday, Ariel. And then uh, John Mora, happy birthday to you, John. Enjoy. On the 16th, Gwendolyn Lee. I call her Gwenny. Um, I'm sure many of you do too. Uh, but Gwendolyn, happy birthday to you. On the 17th, Julian Oyola. Happy birthday to you, Julian. Hope you have a super, super birthday. I'm thinking of you. And then on the 18th, we have two Beekman Bears have a birthday. Anna Alvarez. Happy birthday, Anna. And Logan Gruyon. Happy birthday, Logan. Hope you have a super day. That's all for birthdays this week, everybody. <laughs> How to Hide a Lion by Helen Stevens. One hot day, a lion strolled into town to buy a hat. But the townspeople were scared of lions, so the lion ran away. He ran as fast and as far as he could and hid in a house in a garden. It was a playhouse and it belonged to a small girl named Iris. You can't hide there, said Iris, who wasn't scared of lions. That house is too small for you. They went inside so Iris could hide the lion properly. They had to be quiet because moms and dads can be funny about having a lion in the house. The lion let Iris comb the leaves out of his mane, and he showed her his paw where he had stepped on something sharp. I'll put a bandage on that, said Iris. It wasn't easy hiding a lion. He was just too big and too fluffy and too heavy especially when he was asleep, and lions sleep a lot. But when no one was looking, the lion could come out and play. They just had to be careful not to be too noisy. One evening, Iris's dad said, They still haven't found that lion. I bet he's a kind lion, said Iris from behind the sofa. There's no such thing as a kind lion, said her mom, and all lions will eat you. The lion was worried, but Iris comforted him. Then she read him his favorite story. It was about a tiger who came to tea. He fell asleep halfway through, because lions sleep a lot. And that was when everything went wrong. Iris heard her mom coming up the stairs, but she found it's really hard to wake a sleeping lion. However, most lions will wake up if a mom screams at them. Ah! The lion raced out of the house. and found 
a hiding place where he could still see Iris whenever she came into town. Nobody noticed him, not the townspeople, not even Iris, and certainly not the two burglars who broke into the town hall and stole every single one of the mayor's candlesticks. But the lion noticed them. With a huge roar, he leapt off his pedestal and stood on both burglars until the police came. And all the townspeople were amazed, except for Iris, who said, I told you he was a kind lion. Now the lion was a hero. He didn't have to hide anymore. The townspeople held a special parade for him. The mayor said he could have anything he wanted. The lion thought for a moment, and then he asked for... a hat. Which was what he'd come into town for in the first place. It really suits you, said Iris. The end. So did you enjoy that book? I'd never read it before, um, and I thought it was just something nice and easy uh, that hopefully you enjoyed and uh, made you smile. Um, there was no thinking, thinking required this week, right? It's just sometimes you just want to enjoy a book. So hope you did. And that is all, Beekman Bears, for this week's summer video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I am looking forward to coming back at you next week in another weekly video. So until then, take care, be safe, wear a mask, and wash those hands. Bye.